Are you going to continue to be the victim in your life? Or are you about ready to be a judge? Because I can tell you what, if you're being a victim, for some of you that don't know what a victim is, it's someone that always, for lack of better words, it's someone that always says, oh, I can't do this. It wasn't me. I'm not good enough. (laughs) In that voice. Or are you going to be the judge? Are you going to be the one to go? Yeah, this is a new avenue I'm going down right now. It's a little tough. It's a little difficult. It's a little tough. It's a little new. But you know what? I'm sure with time I can do this. You're going to be the judge, guys. Are you going to be the victim now? You know, the law of attraction lined up for me last week. There was a lot of people in my path who seem to be victimizing themselves. I don't know why. I don't know what has caused them. Obviously, well, I do. It's their past. It's their environment. I don't know why sometimes people can't remember that this power is in our hands. You see... As soon as we try to do something and we can't do it, I guess I'll just never do it. I guess I'll just never be it. I guess I'll just never see it. That's victimizing yourself. And, you know, I think that it's natural. I think that it's natural for you to go through those growth spurts. But I think as you come, I'm 26. And I think as you come to an appropriate age, kind of, you know, it could be any age for anybody. I don't want to put a a label on it. But as you come to an age, you, you start to discover and look around your environment. I'm starting to wake up and I'm starting to remind myself, don't hold anything back today. Be you today. Because I was gonna say I'm scared, But I could not live with myself if I held back in the afterlife. Let me say that better. I would hate to die in my organic form. Spirit rises. I would hate to look back and go, damn, man, you held back. You didn't trust yourself. You victimized yourself. I would, you're just thinking about it right now. It scares me. That I could be right now losing minute by minute, holding back, victimizing myself, thinking that I'm not good enough to do or be or see or feel or think how I want to. That scares the hell out of me. I don't know about you guys. But I'll tell you what, man. I'll tell you one thing, man. Not This is not just for me. This could be for you. I don't care how long... It takes, because I've already started, to start being the judge and not be the victim. And and what's crazy about it is, what's crazy about it is, man, you can't even tell if you're the victim at first or the judge. You You don't even know, especially if you're the victim. You can't even tell what you're doing because it's so, it's so habitual. You don't even know that you're, you're putting yourself down in every moment, in every scenario, especially new ones, especially ones you're not fond of. And this is the crazy thing about life. No one teaches you this stuff, man. That's why I'm in here. I'm in the house alone right now. There's not a lot of people around that are thinking about these things, man. A lot of us are just on autopilot. A lot of us are just agreeing with people just to be a part of the clique. That's why I'm in here. Do I like, am I, am I personable? Am I sociable? Do I like to go out and have a good time? Hell yeah. Right now, is that available, available for me in this environment? I wanna say hell nah, but 
I would say not so much as before. But as I say that, I start to double back and go, hmm, maybe you're not searching deep enough. That's another topic. Are you gonna be the victim? Or are you gonna be the judge now? Because I could tell you right now, I know exactly what I wanna be, what I am. Born with it. And so are you.